Okay, welcome everybody. Today, I'm going to be doing this tier list I made of the infected. So, let's just start off. Um, baked potatoes. Honestly, I'd probably put it like, I don't know, I'd probably say sometimes pick it up, honestly. Because they're not even that good. If it was another thing, and we'll get to that later, I would say probably this one, probably B or A. But yeah, I'd probably say C right now. Because they're not that good, to be honest. Um, okay, medicated bandage. Is this a medicated one? No, this is just a regular bandage. So, personally, I always pick these up because I don't want to have to make them. I've never had to make a bandage. I have tons. I could fill a whole chest with stacks of bandages, right? But I don't think it's like an always thing. It's probably like... It's probably like A. Like, don't always need to pick it up, but you would make space for it, you know? Like, you would prioritize it over other things, you know, in this list. But you don't always need to pick it up, but I would definitely put it here, definitely. Like, it's probably like low S, high, you know, high A. It's definitely going to stay here. Uh, bar chips definitely pretty pretty useless to pick up I look there have been there's been a couple streams a couple times where I've really needed a lot of bark chips I do not remember what it was for if you're a new player honestly I'd probably just put it never pick up because you can disagree with me that's fine but I would put probably never pick up because you get so many from trees. Like, I don't know if they've changed it, but you do get a lot from trees. By the way, this is all based off right now. In the future, this could change. And if it does change enough in the future, I'll do another one of these, definitely. Biofuel, it's insanely easy to make. It's just five. If you do 15, if you save up and just do 15 spoiled food, that's definitely the way to go. And get five of these. Insanely easy to make. You're gonna have spoil food heaps, especially when you get Mike. I don't know, like, oh my god. It could go. I'd say only if you really need it. I think that's at the start of the game. It's probably like, like right at the start of the game, you probably want like always pick up no matter what, right? But that's like right at the start of the game. So I would say only if you really need it or sometimes, maybe like low sometimes. Oh my gosh, blueprints, okay. Well, blueprints are probably like an always thing. Unless, I'm going to put it in always, right? Because obviously you need the blueprints to continue the game. So, I would definitely put always pick up. Bone shards, straight up. Pretty useless, to be honest. Like, some of you might be surprised, but we'll get to that in one second. Look, you can't do that much with bone shards, honestly. So it's like, I'd probably put only if you really need it, honestly, because you really can't do that much. I think you can make a spear and the bone arrows. That I think that's it. And then here we go with the bone. You get these from animals. That's the other thing. You can get bone shards from bones. And you get these from animals. So I would say these take up a lot of room as well. So I would say literally never pick these up. Never do it. Don't do it. It takes up too much room. You get them from animals for free. So yeah, I would never pick them up. Clay soil. Clay soil. Uh, bull. I mean, before you get the clay soil extractor things, it's probably pretty helpful, I imagine. For some things. I imagine it's pretty helpful. But I would say, you know, it's pretty small too. But I think you can only stack up to like 10... So again, I would probably only say only if you really need it with clay, for example. Let's do clay. So with clay, for example, you might be like, well, I probably, you know, personally, I probably pick up clay nowadays, honestly, barely ever. But when I started the game, I sometimes pick it up, right? And some of you might be like, no, like I always pick that stuff up. Like no matter what, like I always pick it up. Like it's so important, like to help me build this and get this thing, blah, blah, blah. But like there are rocks out there you can just go find a rock you smash it gives you like 10 clay and just they're not hard to find you can just go to a certain like area on the map there's tons of them so i would say sometimes pick up 
the cloth super important use it to get like all the armor stuff pretty much a lot of clothes i think that's like pretty much all you use it for but it is that stuff is important trust me you definitely want that for your first winter so if you see cloth but if you do i would put it up here if you need cloth to make kevlar if you don't i'd put it down here i think i'd probably put it up here just because it's not super easy to make either coal pretty easy to get you can easily get what i do is i usually get about two chests even up to now you know 150 days into the game i usually go to a mine closest one mine it for about 20 minutes maybe 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 even shorter and i'll have two full chests of coal stuff spawns like crazy only if you really needed it and maybe at the start of the game as well i put i put it in one of these right maybe there maybe even there i probably put it there like only if you really need it or maybe there sometimes pick it up corn so honestly corn i guess corn isn't that easy to find right like so i'd probably put pick it up if you have you probably have space i'd probably put that's the first one for pick it up if you have space because corn isn't that easy to find this one here is cucumber okay they look so similar okay this one here is cucumber this you will find cucumber as long as it's not winter you find it everywhere you can barely walk down the road without finding a cucumber so honestly i would put like only if you really need it because by oh my god by day 100 i guarantee like if you pick up every cucumber you find by day 100 you're gonna have like 2000 cucumber seeds now this is a dry brick honestly they are really easy to make they take up two spaces in the grid in your inventory i mean honestly look at the start of the game right at the start of the game like your first like i don't know 20 days just honestly pick up everything because you haven't played yet you don't really know what things do pick up everything to get an idea but look i'm probably gonna put it here because there really isn't a need for dry bricks unless you need dry bricks an egg if you don't know this about this game eggs are super important okay so in this game it is it's not that it's hard to find a chicken but chickens will escape they will get away from you sometimes you just won't be able to catch up sometimes you won't be able to unalive them in time whatever but eggs are literally like top tier stuff even more important than cloth and like i think blueprints are probably the most because you need them to like continue the game but it, they're more important than cloth because you need them to upgrade your health your thirst your sun resistance your stamina literally everything and you'll get to a point where you want to do that and you'll be like crap i have no eggs what do i do and then you'll have to go and try and hunt chickens and loot villages for eggs and you'll still only have you'll still only be able to get like 10 eggs and it's so frustrating and then winter comes around barely any chickens if any okay electrical parts this one's pretty obvious probably one of the ones you guys thought wow i know which one's going in s tier right and you're right it is because of the things that are required to make it you know it's not easy to make it does take up a lot of room in your inventory but it's worth it empty can honestly unless you're trying to like actually make you know upgrade stuff or make better food for yourself like the fruit salads and stuff it's they're really not that important and when you get to that stage you probably have the materials to make an empty kit anyway maybe like pick it up if you have space sometimes pick it up one of these two maybe pick it up if you have space it's like if you just finished a village you see an empty cam you have a look in your backpack you got room pick it up so this one is animal fat 
Okay. Never pick up animal fat ever. Never, ever, ever, ever. Big reason why. Every animal you hunt that you hunt alive, you will get animal fat from. I don't think there's an animal you don't. Maybe chickens. Because of that, you will have so much animal fat, you'll find yourself throwing it out. Literally, you will throw it out. You'll throw it on the ground. You won't care about it anymore. We'll do this. Well, we're actually going to go non-arranged order for one second. The only thing you can make with animal fat is tallow. But tallow, this is the only thing more useless than animal fat. You might think, well, but you need this to like make some important stuff. Yeah, but you just use the animal fat to make that. There's, I know it has to be in the game technically, so you can make it, but oh my god, like there's no reason to pick this up ever. Like if there's no reason to pick this up because it's free from animals, there's no reason on earth to pick this up. If this is the only thing you can make with it, if this is the only thing you can make with this, why would you ever even try to pick this up? It's just a waste of space. I don't even know why it's in the village loot table. Okay, feathers. This is really good at the start of the game, okay? So at the start of the game, I put always pick up no matter what, right? Okay. So at the start of the game, always pick it up no matter what okay so this if you're starting the game it's up here all right if you're not it's definitely down here glass yeah i'd say only if you really need it so i'd say if you're doing a project or something then it's probably all the way up here like always pick up no matter what but other than that you're not you don't really need glass do you Especially at the start of the game for the people just starting watching this. Okay, this is interesting. Iron fragments. Because at the start of the game, no matter what, it's up here, right? We can all agree on that. But as you go further in the game, it gets easier and easier to get these. However, this is one of those things in games. You know, it's kind of like a health pack. One of those things in games that you just always, always need, no matter what, right? I'd probably put it here because you don't always need to pick it up, but I would maybe even here actually, to be honest, at the start of the game, guys, 100% there later, later game, probably here. If you have a space, why not? I know probably higher than that. Probably here. And I've just been looking at this. I think I'll move this up here because yeah, like I said, it's like a health pack, you know, even throughout the game, you're always going to need them. You might get to a stage like me where you have so many you can kind of look at it and go, ah, I can leave that one. But honestly, I would just pick it up anyway. Okay, Kevlar, 100%. I don't care who you are, always pick it up, no matter what. Lead ore, not that important. Honestly, you just go into a cave, literally smash one rock, and you already have two. Guaranteed, like, two lead ore from one rock in a cave. Mechanical parts. Now, this one's interesting. Because when I first started the game, I was like, okay, always pick up no matter what. And that's good. When you first start the game, do that. But then as I started playing the game, I realized it only takes one of these to make one of these. First aid kit, top tier. That's like fucking up here. That's, let's, let's re, I'll reorganize that as well. We'll, we'll go through that later once we're done. Yeah, first aid kit, always want to pick it up because it's super, it's probably the most difficult thing in the game, like the most difficult item in the game to make, um, or the most expensive, probably. I'd have to have a look, but I think it's probably the most difficult or the most expensive item to make in the game. Definitely the most annoying for me, personally. And it definitely gives you the most value. Refills your health, refills your stamina. Don't know if it fixes your hunger, maybe? Fixes your bleeding effect and any bandages you need. Like, I think it also cures food poison. It's, it's, it's the goat, bro, basically. Okay, this. Different level. Different level. Um, so I'm not putting it here. I'm just kind of putting it here for now. So this one heals 100 health on top of all that stuff, right? 
on top of all the stuff I mentioned, heals 100 health. And, and I think it only weighs, it either weighs 0 0.5 or 1. I think it weighs 1. This one weighs 1. It heals 50 health. That's it. It's helpful, sure. Um, for those of you who don't know, food used to heal you. So you eat some food, that used to heal you. Then they stopped that and brought this in. Poof, okay. Again, these aren't easy to, I mean, they can be easy to make, but for a while, they're gonna be difficult for you to make. So you get later game. Yeah, actually, I probably would put it here. Don't always need to pick it up, but you would make space for it. I'd probably put it there, or at the end of this one. Okay, Medicaid bandage. Now these are basically same as these, except you use them for bleeding. So they're not better, you just need them for something different. So when it comes to these, it's gonna have to be like the same thing. Um, Melon seeds. Now again, melons aren't as frequent as cucumbers, but they are pretty frequent. So we'll put them probably same same list, but like maybe this list. I'd say, yeah. Well, we'll do this list. Okay. Nails. Start of the game. Always pick up nails. You need them for so many things. You're gonna need them for so long. Later in the game, maybe I have space. To pick it up. All cans. For those of you who don't know, this is. I found this out way too late. There's a thing you can make in the game which produces all cans. Oh my god. It is so good. You make two of these, right? And I don't know how fast it works. But I'll tell you, you'll have like 100 all cans at least every hour. 100 all cans every hour if you make two of these things. It's so good. And you can just leave it go. It will go all the way up to 100. One of these things. And then it will stop producing them. So, till you get one of those, I literally dismiss these now. I don't need them. I don't care. Because I have these machines that make them. But, before you get these machines, one machine, two machines, and then fucking, you just over here when you have more than two. Um, but before you, let's say before you have the machines, right? I think you should probably always pick it up. Onion sprout. So the seed for an onion. Onions are very hard to find. It's not that they're scarce. Just if you have any level of foliage on. Any level other than low. They're very difficult to find. Definitely pick it up. Make space for it. Because you do need them as well to make to make rations. You need them in the process of making rations. And rations are really dead. The best thing you can make in the game. Best food you can make in the game. Okay, this is the paste. So if you get a sunburn, use this paste. So far, I've not had to use this paste. So I would probably put it as like, only if you really need it. Plant fibers. You get them everywhere. Uh, honestly, unless you're trying to make something with plant fibers... Yeah, no, I wouldn't... You get so many from cutting down one tree. Plastic. Goaded. You need it in so many things. You need it in electrical parts. You need it in so many things to uh, build. I think you need it in the battery, maybe. Um, oh my gosh. You need it in Kevlar. Uh, I think you need it to build the truck. There's There's so many, so many things you need it in. Just like... You definitely need it. Always pick it up. Even when you get to day 150, guys, you're going to need plastic. Like, you're going to need it. Always pick it up. Potato sprout. So I'd probably put it up here, to be honest. Because of how hard they are to find. So, in saying that, potatoes now. Okay. We'll probably put them here. Mm, do you get a potato sprout when you pick up? No, in a village, you will not get a potato sprout when you pick up a potato. I'll put that there because potato sprouts more important because you can regrow it. The only thing I've really used pumpkins for is decoration. I've eaten some, sure, but not that good. I'd, I'd probably say sometimes or on, I'd probably I'd say only, only if you really need it. Like if you're trying to do a decorational thing, 
even at the start of the game honestly you'll see pumpkins around the place they stick out like crazy because they're orange we'll go sometimes i think probably say sometimes because it is really big it's really easy to make you can make tons really easily like i said you get plant fiber really easily you get lots of this stuff really easily so it's really easy to make and you just yeah i don't think you can have too much rope but it is used on a lot of things if it wasn't used in so many things i'd probably put a lot sand very easy to get you just gotta get like a, a crate stone crate of stones and then you can turn those into sand if you didn't know that so again only if you really need it you know i'd probably leave the sand leave the clay soil uh screws on the other hand now okay something i want to add is when it comes to things like nails iron fragments screws something you want to look for is how many you're getting right now obviously if you're just trying to get loot like crazy go for it that's different when you're looking at these things like nail screws etc they will have a number next to them it will say like three screws eight screws nine screws six screws the way i would look at it is one copper or one okay so one copper gets you 10 screws so if it's 10 definitely if it's 10 always pick it up because that's a free that's a free copper right that's a free one of these basically like that's not copper but you get what i'm saying that's a free one of these where if it's less than 10 then you make your own decision if you always want to pick it up or not so i'll probably put it there splints never pick them up don't do it it's bad don't bad because i'll tell you why because with a splint right you think oh but if you break a leg in the game like you should always have one on you no because unless you're going somewhere specifically that doesn't have trees you're not gonna break you you'll be, you'll be fine everywhere has trees right you just bring an axe with you everywhere you go which you should be doing anyway and if you break a leg hobble over to a tree cut down the tree and everything you need is in that one tree spoiled food no don't pick up spoiled food look unless you need like a ton of spoiled food for some reason don't do it you don't need it watermelon seeds i mean i'd probably put them up here because you can use watermelon seeds and regular melons to make fruit salad so that's that's good with em in the empty can wire always pick up wire always 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 because even though it takes up a lot of room you're all, you're gonna need wire later and it's so annoying to make wire when you don't have the wire and you're trying to do something oh so annoying now let's let's get this in order okay that's pretty much that uh let me know if you guys agree or disagree what you guys think of this tier list if you agree disagree if it's good if it's bad i mean yeah like what what is your opinion i'm gonna put this video up on youtube so make sure you check that out and if you're watching this on youtube right now please let me know in the comments if i missed anything if there's anything i missed that you can find in like in the houses in a village because i know there are things you know outside you can find probably like food or whatever and that you can get from vambies but this is specifically for if you're in you know for the village loot in houses in villages not the POIs, just villagers guys so please let me know if there's anything i missed and if you want me to do one on POIs as well which will probably be a much much shorter video but that's fine if you want me to do more tier lists or make one on POIs let me know and i don't know if POIs are any different but um yeah if you want me to do more tier list videos please like the video and thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you tomorrow also give me a follow because i do constant guides and tips on the infected game 
so thank you for watching and have a good day have a good night and peace out